to. We have a date tonight. Oh, from where? Match.com, eHarmony, Craigslist. No, he's actually a guy that works in my building, Dennis. Oh my god, that guy you met in the elevator? You're not seriously thinking about going, are you? Guys, of course I'm going. I've told you about him, he's really great. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just offline dating seems so weird. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who is this guy? I don't like it, Paula. Uh, guys, I've been gushing about him for weeks. He seems really great. Yeah, because you've been talking to him at work where he's on his best behavior. If he had an online profile, we could be tracking what he's actually doing. Yeah, who's to say that he's like, he's just not like one of those guys where like the elevator's like his thing. He could be riding that thing up and down all day trolling for women. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not his job. That's what he wants you to think. Okay, regardless, we have great chemistry. There's this great vibe. Uh, sweetie, <laughs> you have no idea how stupid you sound right now. <laughs> chemistry and vibe? That's her mild dehydration in the elevator. <laughs> I, I don't just talk to him in elevators. Yeah, but like if he had a calculated match percentage, that's a statistic we can work with. <laughs> Look, forget this creep. Go put on your sweats, we'll order a takeout, and we'll judge a bunch of online profiles. Yeah. No, I'm still going on this date. It's not safe! Okay, we'll be... We'll be in a bar, there'll be plenty of people around, and I'll be home by 11, I have an early morning tomorrow. Paula, think about what you're doing, okay? We don't know anything about this guy. Is he really single? Is he married? Is it complicated? How old is he? Does he have kids? Is he close with his family? Does he like dogs? Is he Jewish? Is he spiritual but not religious? <laughs> How many drinks does he have on a given week? What's his body type? I, I've seen him before he's fit. But how would he describe his body type, Paula? <laughs> Did he go to college? Does he use proper grammar and know how to spell? What are six things he could never live without? <laughs> I don't know. I'll find out when I go out with him. These are not things you talk about on a first date. This is what an online profile is for. Okay, so what do you talk about on a first date? Subtle references to his profile. <laughs> Paula, men lie when you don't have the protection of internet stalking and cross-referencing. <laughs> what if he doesn't look like himself in photos? What if he only <laughs> What if he only posts shirtless photos? Okay, this is something I'm really worried about. What does he wear on the weekends? You cannot date someone who does not photograph well, Paula. It is social media suicide. Okay. All right, listen. Okay, okay. Paul, what's this guy's last name? Finley. Okay, Dennis Finley. Wait a minute. Wait, no Facebook? No Twitter? No, no Instagram? No Vine? Not even a defunct MySpace profile? <laughs> this guy has no internet presence whatsoever? I knew it. He's a murderer. Or a freak. Or he's a ten-year-old. Okay. Good night. Paula, listen to me. Offline is unnatural. You're not just gonna like find some awesome relationship with some guy you accidentally met in your building. People don't just stumble into their true loves. Well, maybe you guys certainly won't, but maybe I will. Uh, once you meet them in person, the magic is gone! <laughs>